Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we'll talk about the refraction of light that occurs due to the presence of various layers of air in the atmosphere of the Earth. Well, I'm sure all of you must have observed the phenomenon of twinkling of stars. On a cloudless night, the sky is such a beautiful thing with the presence of all these stars and our moon. The twinkling of stars is actually an effect of the refraction of the starlight when it travels through the various layers of air which are present in our environment. So in our atmosphere, we can see that there are multiple layers of air, right? As we move towards the surface of the earth, the air keeps on getting denser and denser. So the starlight, which is traveling from the star towards the surface of the earth, it has to encounter denser and denser air when it is moving towards the earth, right? Towards the surface of the earth. In other words, we can also say that the starlight continuously moves from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium. Due to this, the starlight that is moving through our atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously. And it continuously moves from, an, from a rarer medium to a denser medium. Due to this, the refraction that occurs in the various layers of air in our atmosphere, the starlight moves towards the normal. And that is why the starlight bends while reaching the surface of the earth. Due to this, to an observer which is who is present on the surface of the earth, the starlight that is coming to this observer is actually bent. So the person, the observer who is there on the surface of the earth, they perceive the starlight to be coming from a different position. That is why the star appears to be in a diff different apparent position as compared to its actual position. Because the light which is traveling from this star has actually changed its path, right? It has bent. So due to that, to an observer, the star appears to be in a different position than its actual position. Now this position is higher to the actual position of the star. Now the physical conditions in our atmosphere, they keep on changing, right? They're very dynamic. So the various physical conditions like temperature, density of the air, of the various layers of the air in atmosphere, they keep on changing. Due to this, the apparent position of the star keeps on fluctuating. As a result of this, the amount of light which reaches the observer on the Earth's surface, it keeps on fluctuating, right? It keeps on flickering. So the star sometimes appears to be bright and it sometimes appears to be faint. This gives rise to the twinkling effect of these stars. So the twinkling effect of these stars is actually a case of the atmospheric refraction of the starlight. So the stars and the starlight is not actually twinkling, it just appears to be twinkling in the sky due to the presence of the atmosphere that we have and the various layers of the atmosphere and due to the refraction of the starlight when it travels through these various layers of our atmosphere. One more occurrence of or one more phenomena where we can observe the refraction of light through our atmosphere is during the time of the sunset or sunrise. So during sunrise, the sun appears to be in the sky two minutes before it has actually risen. What we mean by an actual sunrise is that sun has crossed the horizon and is visible to an observer on the earth, on the surface of the earth. During sunset, what happens is that sun, even after setting, even after crossing the horizon, is visible for another two minutes and sunlight is also visible for another two minutes, even after sun has crossed the horizon. The reason why this happens is again related to the refraction of light, refraction of sunlight through our atmosphere. So let us understand both these cases one by one. So let us take the case of the sunrise first. So during sunrise, just two minutes before sunrise, before the sun has actually come, actually crossed the horizon and become visible to a person on the surface of the earth, the sun rays which are traveling towards the earth, they are not traveling in a direction that might be visible to this observer which is present on the surface of the earth. They're traveling in a different direction. But when they enter the atmosphere of the earth, they undergo refraction due to the presence of various layers of air which are there in our atmosphere. Due to this refraction, when this sunlight is moving from an optically rarer medium to an optically de denser medium while traveling towards the surface of the earth, while traveling in the atmosphere of the earth, this sunlight undergoes refraction and it bends towards the normal. 
Due to this, the sun, sun rays which are traveling in this direction, they keep on bending, they keep on bending and they actually reach the surface of the earth and they reach this observer. Due to this, this observer perceives these sun rays to be coming from a point above the actual position of the sun. Due to this, it, the observer perceives that the sunrise has already happened. But the sun is actually not risen and has not crossed the horizon. But due to this bending of light, due to the bending of rays of sun, which are traveling through the atmosphere of earth, the sun appears to have already risen. So this is the case of sunrise where the sun appears to be in the sky two minutes before it has actually crossed the horizon and actual sunrise has happened. So this again, this phenomena can again be explained by the refraction of sunlight when light travels through, when the light of the sun travels through the various layers of air which are present in our atmosphere. Now, similar phenomena can also be observed during the time of the sunset. Even two minutes after the sun has actually set, that the sun has actually crossed the horizon, the sun appears to be visible in the sky. Let us understand what is the reason behind this. So here we see the original position of the sun after the sun has actually set. But we see that there are some sun rays which are traveling towards the direction of the earth. But these sun rays, if they keep on traveling on their original paths, would never reach this observer which is present on the surface of the earth. But when these sun rays are traveling through the atmosphere of the earth, they continuously encounter denser and denser air. Due to this, these sun rays, they keep on moving from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium when they are traveling through the various layers of our atmosphere. As a result of this, the sunlight, it undergoes refraction at the various layers of air which are present in our atmosphere. Since the sunlight is moving from an optically rarer medium to an optically denser medium, the sunlight undergoes refraction and it bends towards the normal. Due to this, the sunlight, it changes its original path, it bends from its original trajectory and is able to reach this observer which is present on the surface of the earth. Now to this observer who is present on the surface of the earth, the sun rays appear to be coming from a different position than the original position of the sun because the sun rays have traveled in a bent path. So the observer perceives the sun rays to be coming from a point which is above the original position of the sun. So this observer perceives the sun to be present in an apparent position above the original position of the sun. So this is how the various layers of our atmosphere, they cause the sunlight to undergo refraction and bend from its original trajectory, thus causing this effect where the sun appears to be present in the sky even after the sun has actually set. So this is how we can explain the phenomena of sunrise and sunset and the presence of sun two minutes before sunrise and two minutes after sunset by using the concepts of refraction of sunlight which occurs through the due, due to the various layers of air which are present in our atmosphere. So throughout this chapter, we have studied about multiple concepts related to the parts of the human eye and the functioning of the human eye. We have also learned about the various defects that occur to a normal human eye and we have learned how we cure these defects. In the later half of the chapter, we have studied about some interesting phenomena that light exhibits like the dispersion of white light, the Tyndall effect and atmospheric refraction. So that is all in this chapter. Now you can practice all these concepts that you have learned throughout this chapter by doing the quiz at the end of the chapter. All the best.